that wind is biting. You're right. So 15 right now feels like zero. And there are some below zero wind chills already. We are waking up to below zero wind chills come tomorrow morning. Downtown, they'll all dry down, B, down uh, Market Street on the BJC Skycam Network, so we will not be waking up to any snow. Just all about the cold temperatures. There was a little bit of snow in southeastern Missouri uh, in far southern Illinois earlier. That has sh shifted off to the south and east even more as the cold front continues to trek to the east. But it's this big high pressure is really helping to push in that Arctic air. As it oozes in from the north, we're going to see our temperatures get even colder as we head into tomorrow morning, down to eight degrees. Now, look, we're not setting records here. The record's minus 18. How about that for a record, by the way? That's a really cold morning, but this is still frigid. Six in Carlinville, if you're out in Belleville at eight. And like I said, the wind chill's a factor, so that takes us down to about minus five in O'Fallon, minus seven in uh, St. Louis. So look at tomorrow morning's temperatures. We hit eight at about 7 a.m. By 9 a.m., we're still sitting at about 11 degrees. Wind chill about minus four. It's frigid, it's dry. It's just a really cold morning. We're up to 15 at noon. It's not going to be a warm day at all, but it will be a sunny day. The wind's still a factor too. The wind chill is about zero degrees just at noon. The high tomorrow is going to be 20. The record, by the way, I looked this up, the record for the uh, coldest high temperature is one. That was from 1985. That was the high, by the way, on that day. So, hey, it can be worse, but it is going to be a frigid, sunny, dry day. And yes, a little breezy. Wind chill at about eight at three o'clock in the afternoon. By six o'clock, we're at 14. The winds are coming down, so the winds are getting a little bit lighter for you in the evening. But light winds, clear skies, really help drive the temperature down. And it's why I expect Friday to actually be a little bit colder. This is Friday morning's lows, six in St. Louis. How about three in Wentzville? Now the winds are lighter, so the wind chill's not as much of a factor. A little breeze would take you down to near zero for the wind chill, but bottom line is lighter winds, a little bit colder for Friday morning. And Friday afternoon's still gonna be chilly, but there is a trend. It's a little warmer than Thursday, 27. I know, not warm, but sunny and 27 on Friday's the beginning of a warming trend. As we get into the weekend, you'll notice it more. 38 degrees on Saturday, warmer afternoon, partly cloudy. And the warmer day of the two days this weekend, Sunday, 42 and partly cloudy skies as well. A little clipper system looks like it'll miss us on Sunday to the east as we remain dry through the weekend. Tomorrow, dry but cold for the Bennett Project, 20 degrees for that daytime high. Donations so far at $500. So a couple of frigid days. Hey, it's January. We get these for sure. We'll get through this and we'll warm it up over the weekend. 42 by Sunday and mid 40s by Monday. A little colder air coming in next week. Tuesday, even a chance for some snow. The models really disagree on how this will play out, whether it'll miss completely or maybe it's a little farther north and it's warmer, it's rain. Right now, I think it's a slight chance for snow. We'll stay on the colder side with highs in the low 30s for Tuesday and Wednesday.